is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. My main thing is helping you as a side hustler, as a solopreneur, or otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. Today we're going to talk about burnout and the three reasons why you might be feeling burnout. I can relate to this. I've been pushing myself really hard. I'm actually planning a break shortly after we record this video. I am ready to do that. And even as a coach, even though I wrote a book, The Bite Size Entrepreneur, which talks about pacing ourselves, I still struggle with that literally every day. I'm really passionate about what I do. And it's really easy to get yourself into burnout for that. So speaking of that, there are three different parts of burnout. When I talk about um, burnout, I talk about um, more about it in, again, the Bites as Entrepreneur, and I talk about our cycle of creation, particularly in the Productive Bites as Entrepreneur. You can grab it. It's part of the trilogy in the Ultimate Bites as Entrepreneur trilogy. Reading the, the Productive Bites as Entrepreneur or the Ultimate Bites as Entrepreneur trilogy, which is which it's in, you know about my cycle of pursuing, doing, and renewing. That's how we create. We pursue something new, we do something new, and then we retreat and renew and, and get ourselves together and get our emotions back up, our energy back up to start pursuing something else. It's a modification of the lean startup model made fam famous by Eric Ries over in Silicon Valley. So if you're familiar with that, it's kind of like the MVP idea, minimal viable product. Anyway, it's pursuing, renewing, and doing. They actually break down the, the areas that we can get stuck as far as with burnout as well. Burnout, number one, we can get burnout in the pursuing stage. That means the research. You have a new idea. So you go to the library or go on Google or you talk to a bunch of people or you interview people, whatever your process is to figure out that new idea. If you're a musician, then maybe you get a whole bunch of instruments and you research this, this, that, and, th and the third. You haven't actually started what we're going to start. So it's really easy to go wide, but not deep. So if you're in the pursuing stage and you're researching a new idea and you want to get something started, one of the best ways to avoid burnout is to put actual time limit on what you're doing. Saying, if it's February, you can say, okay, on May 1st, I'm gonna put pen to paper. On May 1st, I'm gonna start recording music. On May 1st, I'm gonna go ahead and set up this website for my new product. Once you set that up, then that pursuing stage, which, which could be forever, that could be forever, that pursuing stage has a container, right? So put a container on it. That's the easiest way to do that is create a timeline. Create a timeline. I talk about that in my new book, Build From Now, which one of the things is time. But create a timeline. Set it up, set to that date, so you're not pursuing something forever. I know folks that have been researching things for years and they still haven't created anything. No, no shots to them if they're just kind of stuck in that cycle. And it's really easy to get burnout when you're just pursuing something and looking for something new. So number one, if you're pursuing something, make a timeline of it. Make a definitive thing when you're gonna start doing. Number two, the doing part. So doing is when you're actually creating, when you're making stuff. And that's when you're burning the midnight oil, you're hustling, might be the 11th hour. Doing gets dangerous because just like I was talking about, we get passionate about stuff. And so if we get passionate about stuff, we don't realize when we're pushing ourselves beyond the limits of our mental, uh, emotional, or physical health. I've been there before in all three. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good place to be. And so you want to go out and do regular check-ins on yourself, just like you would have a loved one who wasn't feeling well. Check in on yourself and realize that sometimes there's a place for the doing and sometimes there's a place to stop. Another reason why we sometimes get pushed into burnout is because we're trying to make something perfect. And this kind of goes back to the timelines, where if we're doing something and it's good enough, I did a TED talk about this, called um, Why You Should Strive For Good Enough. You can find it on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash browndamon or find it at the TED website at ted.com and just look up my name. Check that out. I talked about it for 15 minutes where perfectionism can sometimes push us to burn out. Just because we keep doing it, trying to get it perfect, and it's never gonna be perfect. I remember one particular book I was working on, the deadline kept moving because more information kept coming in. And the book ended up being delayed a year or two because we kept trying to make it perfect. And the book came out and it was not perfect. So I don't know why we spent two, two extra years on it, but that's what we were trying to do. Sometimes that can push you to the burnout level. So number one, you have your pursuing, where you're looking into something. Instead of taking forever, just set a timeline for it. Number two, it's the doing. With the doing, we're passionate people. We will burn ourselves out so quick, even though it's the stuff that we love. 
there always has to be a limit on it. I actually talk about that in the time chapter and again in, um, in Build From Now. Really good, good, good analogies in there, or good, uh, good stories in there. I can't wait to, for you guys to read them, so I won't share them there, share them here, but it's worth reading. And the final part is renewing. Renewing is when it's like, okay, the project is done, and now we're going to rest. That actually can have its own burnout. Let me explain. When you're renewing, you push yourself probably to the limit, if you're anything like me, because you were just doing, and now it's done. I have my book, Built From Now, coming out. It's a new book. After that launch is done, and I can already feel it, the launch is wrapping up now as I speak, I can already feel my body starting to shut down. It's like, you push yourself hard enough. That's enough. The media interviews, the videos, even writing, just simply writing the book, recording the audiobook, you hear my voice starting to crack. It's like, my body's like, okay, that's enough. When you're in the renewing period, you still can get burnout. And that comes from you thinking too hard about what you're going to do next. I actually went through this when Adler got acquired and suddenly, you know, our app got acquired and I didn't have any identity aside from being the co-founder of this really popular app. And even though I was in the renewing portion of it, which again, I talk about in Build From Now, I've talked about in previous books, but I get really deep into it in Build From Now probably because it's been like seven, eight years since the app got acquired, so I have some objectivity, so I can talk about it a lot more. So I'm very frank in the book. And I was still burning out, even though I was in a renewing period. And that's because I was so eager to figure out the next thing. Because I was used to being, number one, in the limelight, I will admit to that. But the number two, I was used to being so creative and being pushed every day that I still was in that phase. So even if you're renewing and you already launched that product or whatever, you still could be in that burnout phase. And the best thing you can do is accept that that season is done. It took a lot for me to, to figure that out. But once I accepted that, I was able to renew and come out with best-selling books, become a coach, get on the TED stage several more times, more times, several times, whatever, I've been on this four, TED stage four times, whatever that number is, and creating, but I had to let go of the past to get into the future. And that's the biggest area of burnout when it comes to renewing. If you wanna get more insight into how to maximize your resources and perhaps save some burnout, come over to buildfromnowquiz.com, buildfromnowquiz.com. It's based on my new book, Build From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. And it's a free quiz. It'll take you literally two minutes from everyone that's told me about it. You know, because I haven't taken it because I designed the quiz. <laughs> I just want to explain that part. Hundreds of y'all have taken it. I so appreciate it. I, I, I love your input and your feedback. But more importantly, I'm thankful to be able to help guide you into your biggest strength right now. That's why it's called Build From Now, because you have a particular strength right now. You don't need to go to school. You don't need to do all this other stuff. You don't need to wait for tomorrow. You have a strength right now. I want to help you identify that. Even if you don't buy the book, you can get the quiz for free. Enjoy it on me and find out how you can impact the world the best. All right. So remember that you can always bring from you always you can always bring your worth and that you can always build from now. Take care for now.